Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name's Severus Lim, and welcome back to South Park, the Stick of Truth. We found Jesus. So in the last episode, we've done the little side quest, as I've been suggested to do. We've been getting reports of a bunny rabbit running around people's yards. I'm going to check it out. And today we move back to the main story. Which is that we have to head north to get some information as such. Okay people, nothing to see here. There's a much better view down that way. Good information. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. I will want them done. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? But I'm happy with what I got. Yeah, it's just... It's just not working. Let's try that other outfit. What other outfit? Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. What? No. Nope, with this light, we're just gonna need you to lose that shirt. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants? Or, you know what, just take, take the pants off, too. I know this. Go. Okay, that's, that's good. good. Really, really nice. nice. Yes, yeah, very nice. nice. How, about How about we lose the, the underwear? underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop, Stop him! him! You'll never that's take me alive! This is getting out of hand. Summit. Lock and load. Total ponage. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Thanks. Let's put some clothes back. I can't even remember what I was wearing. If you're ever traveling, Photo Dojo has a great deal on passport photos. They also have pedophiles. In two for the asses of fire, two and three D, please. No? Okay. How do I even get to the woods? So I assume keep going this way. Something about this place reminds me of Jimmy. No, oh, wasn't that um No, I'll, I'll do that another time.
one. There we go. Right, so what was it? It was north, north, and north. Which way is north? Agile, good job. Haven't we been here before? Mm, I don't know, maybe. I think we should go that way. I think this way. Oh. No, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Okay, what, you think we just let anybody into Canada? No, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! <laughs> oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. Thank you so much. Welcome to Canada. Whoa, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's that? Woo! Oh, Who the fuck just walked right. into someone's house? <laughs> Who stops to shout if someone then carries on? <laughs> Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? No, you're not. Let's go this way. Oh, hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I did. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? Lovely. What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Ooh. Photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two eight by tens or six five by seven? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Uh, I would have picked the eight by tens. Okay, that was weird. No way. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you... Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what. Kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. Okay.
How are you gonna mug the bear? that two Canadian monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. Nice. By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these diabare pals! Now I can finally make a diorama. All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. Agitated lately. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the Bishop. <gasps> kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you. Kill the Bishop of Bam for me, and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Okay. My time, you guys are going to be going back and forward now. Fuck. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! Banff Canadians are quite religious. The Prince thinks Canada is a monarchy! But there's other people with opinions. By God! Sorry, God. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? I do. Assassin! Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, I take the baby. Don't take the goddamn baby. Yay! <laughs> Who sells out for pussies? Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Just have them. Sorry. Ah! It's for the greater good that we cut off his balls, I guess. Banff Canadians are quite religious. Don't know how to get in there, but alright. Oh, these are indeed troubling times. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's balls! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. <laughs> Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. God, I generally am just going back and forth. Yes, I know. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Hey! How are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Tanks. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. Impressive. <laughs> what is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> now you know! What are How are you? What is the sound of one anus farting? Oh, now you know! Wow! <laughs> what I did? Dragon Shout on the Philip. Yeah. He knows no, Dragon Shout! Any magician's apprentice can Dragon Shout! It's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip! <laughs> if he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your back? The sneaky squeaker! Very impressive! He is worthy of our training after all! Yes! Prepare thyself, child! It is time for you to learn some true magic! Oh dear, they killed me. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! Three 
pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. Again with the farting on the balls. And use my penis power. What do you do? I will mourn him for a long time to come. You should speak with the prince. I'm here for looks mostly. Aww. Where is the prince? Where is he? Hey, hey, hey. 
After a few attempts, I've finally done it. Oh, that took a while. Right guys, I think that's going to do for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more. It really means a lot. And we'll see you next time.